Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 27th of January 1967, the Outer Space Treaty, which provides the basic framework on international space law, was opened for signatures in the United States, the Soviet Union and the United Kingdom. The full name of the agreement is the rather wordy Treaty on Principles Governing the Activities of States in the Exploration and Use of Outer Space, including the Moon and other celestial bodies. The document was drawn up by the Legal Subcommittee of the UN Committee on the Peaceful Uses of Outer Space, which had been established by the United Nations General Assembly shortly after the Soviet Union launched its Sputnik satellite in 1957. The treaty consists of just 17 articles, all of which were intended to be flexible in order to adapt to new advances in space technology. At its core, though, are the key principles that underline all modern space exploration. These include an agreement that all exploration should be done for the benefit and in the interests of all countries, and that nobody has the right to claim celestial bodies as their own in an attempt to avoid the frenetic imperialism of the 19th century. To avoid space becoming a new frontier for war, the treaty also banned countries from placing weapons of mass destruction into space, though doesn't forbid conventional weapons. 107 countries are currently party to the treaty, although another 23 have signed it but not yet completed ratification. This makes it, in the words of Christopher Johnson, the Space Law Advisor for the Secure World Foundation, the most important and most fundamental source of international space law. Nations subsequently create their own specific legislation, All of this draws on the 17 principles laid out in the Outer Space Treaty. As a result, space exploration has remained entirely peaceful, for the time being at least. 